Hey everybody, in this video we are going to look at another Python based tool called AutoMD. So AutoMD is Auto Markdown, which is a mini Python based tool designed to convert various types of files and GitHub repositories into LLM ready Markdown documents. And it is also optimized to quickly create your rack applications. All right, so Markdowns are a very simple ways to add formatting to text and making it easy to pass data into your LLM for better inference. All right, it is really easy to set this up and run it. It is completely free and runs on your local machine. All right, so we are going to dive into this. All right, so you can browse, click on the browse. And so this is how this is going to look like. You can upload files, input files in your GitHub repos, and you can quickly output your markdown into a single file or into separate files. You can include your metadata and your table of content in the output. All right, so here are some of the features of the AutoMD. It supports multiple files and processes zip files. So you can put in your zip files or zip folders and your individual files in your GitHub repositories. So you can generate a single markdown or multiple files and create table of content and metadata for each of the process files, right? It's really easy. And here are some categories of files that support the formats. And you can see here it has so many extensions that it support here, right? So you can see your text, your dot log, HTML, you can see your CSS, .csjson, so many versions of that, and they keep updating that, All right? So I'm going to show you how you can quickly install this, and you have to get your Python 3.7 and above versions. All right. So for example, if we, let's say you have the flowing files called in a folder called my project, and these are the extensions, .py, JSON, CSS. So this is how it's going to look like after it's been processed into a markdown in a single file. So we are going to get something like a table of content. You're going to get a readme page, readme information, your script. And this is your, so it separates each of the, your data format into a single markdown file. All right, so you have your metadata, you have your script, and you're gonna have the content of your script. And you're gonna have the second one, your data. It's gonna have the metadata and it's gonna have the JSON format. And the third file is called styles and it's gonna have your metadata and it's gonna have your content, it's really simple. All right, so let's get into my PS code. So if what you can do now is you can go to code here and you can clone, you can clone the files and you can download this. So I've already downloaded it. So it's stored here as auto MD main. So I'm gonna to go to VS code and I've uploaded it here. So you can just go here, like open folder. So when you do that, you select folder and I have it here. So what I wanna do now is I wanna create like environment for this. I'm going to say that's M P M V E M V. I'm going to hit enter. All right. So what I'm going to do is I want to activate. Let me activate the environment. So now hit, and you can see the green move here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to CD change directory to here. So I'm going to say CD auto dash md so when i hit enter so i'm going to grab everything that is in here so i want to run my requirements so i'm going to say if install dash r requirement all right so i'm going to say dxt i'm going to hit enter all right so i have an error here could not find a version that satisfies this so if you get this error what you have to do is, so tkinter is installed by default with 
every Python installation. So I'm going to comment this out to avoid that conflict. And all right, so we don't need to install it separately. So once you have Python, it should run. So when you have this issue, what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment this out and I'm going to run again. All right, so we have that running. Now I am going to run my dot main.py. All right, so one thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to run this. I'm going to say Python main.py. I'm going to say run. All right, so we have the UI, the GUI application open up here. So I'm going to upload some files and I'm going to, so this in JSON, I have CSV, I have a text file. So, right. So for these purposes, you can select so many files in different formats and I'm going to say open. All right, so this is the name I want that to be saved in. All right, so I'm selected output in a single file. I've selected including metadata and include table of content. All right, so I'm going to say start processing. And really quickly, you will see the output. Would you like to open this in a folder? I'm going to say yes. Awesome, so when I click on this, you can see I have my table of content, I have my book, Ford and model, model building. So these are files in different format that I uploaded. And you can see I have my table of content for books and table of content for books. And you can see the metadata here. All right. And you can see that in JSON format is pretty formatted. And the second one is Ford. And you can see the CSV files here, really nice. And the third one is model building. And you can see clearly the generated time and the source is from my files. That is the name of the folder that I uploaded from. And you can see the third one, model building. It has the information that I uploaded. Really nice and neat. All right. So this is very simple to run and all right so this was all that i wanted to show show you you can upload as many files in different formats as you want all right so do play around with it and let me know what you think about this tool i hope you like this video don't forget to share and subscribe see you in the next one